Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another HTML item element. Sorry, that is emphasis. So, what is this emphasis? Emphasis normally we will locate it. Uh, we will use it with the em element. Let's try to see it. In human language, we often emphasize certain words. Emphasize means so we stress certain words to alter the meaning of a sentence, and we often mark want to mark certain words as important or different in some way so normally in human language we used to use some words in we need to stress the words in a sentence or otherwise you need to tell it in a different meaning or as an important so that is called as an emphasis html provides various semantic elements to allow us to mark up textual content with such effects so as we already discussing about this uh, writing the text in uh, in the html content right so the semantic elements we need to use the meaningful elements for the text content so if you want to stress certain words in a sentence means so we need to use the emphasize thing so the for this one so semantic element is the em tag and in this section we look at the few of the most common ones when we want to add emphasis in a spoken language we stress certain words altering the meaning of what we are saying similarly in the written language we tend to stress word by putting them in italics okay so normally when while we are talking if we want to tell certain word very importantly we will be stressing that word in the same in the html content it's a written language when you want to stress that word means you will write it in the italics in html we use the em em means emphasis element to mark up such instances as well as making the document more interesting to read these are recognized by the screen readers and spoken out in a different tone of voice now we as we already to, as we already discussed that while we are speaking if you want to tell certain word in a stress means so we emphasize that one we make we will stress that word in the same scenario in the written language while the screen readers are reading that one so if the screen reader has to stress that word means we need to add that word in the wrap that word in the em element so that the screen readers the screen readers will stress that word and it will uh, speak in a different voice browser style this as italic by default now the browsers when we use that word in em em element it will style this as a italic but you shouldn't use this tag purely to get the italic styling now another one what you need to understand is so now the em element is giving you the italic font so you cannot use the em element for the to get the italic font so that is not the way we need to use it so we the meaning for this em element is to stress that word to make it as a important to do that you would use a span element so for example if you want only the italic thing italic for a for a word means without any meaning stressful and all those things means you can use a span element and you can use the css perhaps an i item i, I element means italic element i will discuss about this one also so css or otherwise you can use the italic element now for example let's say that i am glad you were in clit for example let's say that i will try to show you the real time scenario for let's try to create a new file emphasis okay now here i am having html let's say that i have a p element i am having a word that i am glad that you where it okay late so now if you try to see this one in an output i will try to show you the output let's try to save yeah here if you try to see i am glad that you were in late there is nothing special in this uh, paragraph what it is trying to say that i am glad that you were in late here we are having some certain certain type of stress we need to give certain type of important that he we are very happy that means glad means that he is not late so these two are very important right we need to stress this as an important if you want to stress this an important what we can do is so now you can use this em okay and you can you add this one as an em and here also you can use this an, as an em and here also you can use this an em that's it now if you try to see the output see now the html the browser will show you the output in a such a way that it will give you some interesting to read that okay the main concept we will be able to understand that i am glad that you were in clear now the whichever the words that are, that were wrapped in the em element those are in the italic now what i can say is if you want to make the text as in italic we should not use the em em element em element is meant for 
stay in making some important for this sentence to make it as important for this sentence now let's try to see another one now here if i try to go here that is the thing what is the emphasis thing now emphasis you you able uh, able to understand about this em thing now let's try to see another another type another type of element that is to emphasize important words we tend to stress them in a spoken language and bold them in a written language now in order to stress them more means to in order to stress them more means we we will be also using the bold also this liquid is highly toxic for example let's say that now we have an another element something like so this liquid is highly toxic okay so now this is a sentence now if you try to see the output here you will be able to see this liquid is highly toxic but now here the sentence formation what we need to do is we need to stress we need to give some importance to so to a certain word now the emphasis is not required in this one why because we are stressing the important that toxic is an important thing we need to make it bold in certain in that scenarios what we will try to use is we will use the strong thing okay we will use a, another element that is nothing but strong okay emphasize means to elevate that one so we will be using you know uh, for strong means we need to tell it as a strong thing so for this one also screen readers what it will try to do is it will try to tell it toxic in a different tone of voice normal the sentence if you try to see here is it in a different tone of voice now let's try to see browser style this as a bold text by default but you shouldn't use this tag purely to get the bold styling now if you try to see the output we are whatever the output we are trying to see here now the toxic has is there in the bold bold thing now wherever the, the wherever the text you want to make it as a bold means we should not use a strong strong as a definite meaning that it it makes the word as an important thing so you are making the word as an important so that is the meaning of that strong so you cannot use for everything if you want to make the bold means you cannot use the strong element so wherever you are strongly you want to uh, focus on that word means you need to use the strong element if you want to use the bold and all those things means you can use the b element b element is also there and also another one is the span thing you can wrap it in a span thing and you can add the css styling for that one so that is a different thing okay so you can use some css or perhaps you can use the b element for that one b means bold element now here this liquid is highly toxic we have seen it right you can nest the strong and emphasis inside one another if you decide so you can also nest the strong and emphasis inside one another it's it's okay for you it's okay for us to add the nest the strong and emphasis inside one another if you want this liquid is highly toxic if you drink it you may die so this is the word you want to express it for example let's say i will try to show you it now here we are having this one right let's try to do okay if you drink it you may die okay now this is the word now if you try to see here the output this liquid is highly toxic if you drink you may die now this is the also the important word so you need to make you need to make it as important in this sentence now what we can do here so you may die is a main thing so i can do the strong okay and i can add it here now if you try to see the output here fine right so now we are able to see it as a strong now die is also somewhat 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 what i can say is important thing so normal toxic and you may die so these all things we are able to see it as a strong element and die is somewhat somewhat more strong so what we need to do we can also use the emphasis thing for this for this small thing also so that if you add em tag for this one so it will apply this em tag in a italic code so now if you try to see here die it came in the italic code so this is what about the emphasizing a certain word in the text now if you want to make a certain word in a sentence to make it important thing means you can use the emphasis which converts into italic somewhat the sentence that sentence will look more interesting to read if you want to if you want to give more importance to that word means you can use the strong tag and also you can use the strong with a combination of the em element also so this is what i want to explain you this gives a semantic meaning we we want so this html takes the thing is a serious manner and we'll try to show you and also in the screen readers and all those things if any one if any thing if any uh, software or anything is reading that one so by seeing that emphasis and also the strong it will try to read that one in a different tone of voice that is the main importance for that one 
and also the for the accessibility thing also it will give you the importance thing so hope you understood about this emphasizing the text if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you